Hi there, this is Eric. This is another uh, new one to me this year. This one's called C'est Bon. Uh, I guess this is a uh, an heirloom from down south somewhere, probably, I'm guessing, Louisiana. I really don't know what the, the story is on this. Um, go away, B. Um, but I know Pete talked favorably of it. Uh, my tree did not get any kind of head start or anything like that. Um, and it got chewed off by the dogs, so it, it still ended up ripening um, a couple. Um, looks to me like an Aetna. So we'll, we'll try it and see what it tastes like. Yep. Tastes like an Aetna. It's a good Aetna, but it tastes like an Aetna. So I'm guessing that's probably what it is. Um, it is sweet. Uh, it's got some more acidity to it than some of the other Etnas. That could be the time of the year that this one's ripening. So I'm not ready to say one way or another that's what it is with 100% certainty. I, I don't want to, to do that, but um, at first blush, I think that's what it is. Um, next year... Um, I know the dogs won't have access to it, um, so we'll see what it does. And next year, if it still feels like an Aetna, then um, I'll be able to report on that. But uh, right now, it, it, it kind of fits into that family, but... It does have a little bit more... A little tiny tiny bit more acidity to it but again that could be the time of year that it's ripening but uh pretty fig tasty um like a lot of etnas are but we'll see next year if it differentiates itself uh any further all right all right take care